Hey loves, it's Britt and in this video I'm talking about Pluto conjunct to the south node in Sinistry, probably one of the most karmic aspects that you could have. So let's get right into it you guys. I can't believe I haven't talked about this one yet. This is intense. So with this contact, it tends to bring out an ugly side of both individuals. Specifically, the south node person can really behave in the ways of their south node that are inherently the worst ways. So you really want to look at the sign of the conjunction because that is the energy of ugliness. So you could basically just read like whatever the sign of the south node and, and Pluto are in these people and like likely the ugliest negative qualities of that sign are going to come out in this relationship. Um, now you could have some very evolved souls that will not act in this way but that's one potential is that we really get the like grimy icky stuff of that sign um, coming through in this connection. So, and the Pluto person too, because Pluto is where we're really compulsive and we have this need to control and it's like the South Node person can really make the Pluto person um, go through a transformation that they did not want. <laughs> so it's a little bit different. Sometimes with Pluto conjunct to the North Node, um, the transformation is more what we've wanted. But with Pluto conjunct to the South Node, it's like the South Node person brings a transformation that we didn't want. And we can see huge losses um, or gains, but sometimes losses um, come through as a result of this relationship. Um, the two people can be really obsessed with each other though. This one definitely um, has a powerful undercurrent of sexuality and that sexual attraction, the chemistry is coming from a very deep place and a very emotional place actually. There is a lot of desires and lust that can come up with this aspect and it can really make no sense to the individuals. Like it could be a situation where there shouldn't be a sexual connection or feeling but there is for some reason. So you can see um, just yeah really odd scenarios happening with this conjunction where um, yeah sexual feelings are there that don't really make any sense and so you could say that these have been carried over from another lifetime so I believe that south node conjunctions in sinistry show a past life connection so if you believe in past lives you could say that this relationship is a karmic connection, a past life connection, a soul connection. And the nature of the past life here, it could be to do with power, power struggles, um, control. It even, you know, this is so broad to say, like you could just say this for everybody, but like, this could be the conjunction of uh, people who have spent lifetimes killing each other. <laughs> lifetime after lifetime, you're just always coming back to uh, get them back. Get that revenge for what they've done to you. So not that it has to be that, like that's a very extreme example, but the feelings that are brought up from this conjunction are so much bigger than what is present in this lifetime alone that it's valuable to do a bit of past life regression hypnosis or meditation on what you have done to each other because you've done something that's why you're here right now with you know a relatively positive synastry um, and other compatibilities maybe this uh, karma can just be a small 
echoing of of something from a past lifetime and you can still have a, a positive relationship see like I've I like to say that there are no aspects that can um, be truly like deal breakers, right? Like I'd like to be open-minded. So, you know, you could be coming back to this lifetime with this person for the finale, for the, the resolution of whatever has taken place. Because likely if you have this conjunction, something has taken place and it's been very painful. Um, for both of you. And the Pluto person could have been especially wounded by the the node person or vice versa. Like it's it's hard to say who who did it, right? Like who's done what to who, but something has been done and the the feelings that are brought up in the Pluto person are so big and so overwhelming and very vulnerable that the Pluto person could feel really invaded or even like raped almost like by the energy of the South Node person. It's like they're just too close to the wound. They're just too close. They're like inside them and they did not consent for them to be there. They did not consent for them to be in their energy and yet they just can't kick the south node person far enough out of their life. They're just constantly being attacked by them. It can feel like that. And um, the Pluto person is seen by the south node person in qualities that perhaps are not even there. Like the south node person sees the Pluto person as like everything negative about the sign. And there can be a massive projection um, where the south node person sees the Pluto person as all this evil that's really their south node qualities that they are not owning up to, right? And um, because the south node is the karmic pattern in the natal chart, it's qualities that we are really strong in. So if the south node is attacking the Pluto for qualities, you can be assured that they also have those qualities. Um, and so there can be a lot of projection there and it, it can go vice versa too. Um, so it's, it's very, um, fascinating, very fascinating aspect. Um, yeah, the, the ugliness, the, the greed, the, the lust, the hatred, the obsession, because they, they low key, high key are pretty obsessed with each other and they, as much as they hate each other maybe or have this negativity, they just cannot let go of this relationship. It it's, brings up a lot of fear too. And a part of you can get, you can get so comfortable in this energy that you are, become afraid of, you know, what your life would look like without this level of karmic energy. Um, so this might be a challenge of, you know, needing to free yourself. You might need to cut the cord. You might need to cut the tie so you can really move on and, and become a higher version of yourself because this association could keep you in a lower frequency vibration. Um, so ultimately the, the Pluto person is going through a transformation, you know, like the Phoenix into the higher side of their Pluto and they can become powerful from this conjunction. The south node person is learning all of those ugly qualities that are actually latent within them and they can use those, they can use that Pluto person's power to actually go towards their north node and that's really the purpose of this connection is transformation for both of you. The south node person is meant to have a shake up in those karmic energies and go towards their north node. This is the finale. This is the point of no return like you in this relationship you are meant to transform or it will just be a battle this is an aspect kind of like mars conjunct the south node sinistry where we're fighting and there's a battle like this you could have had a past life in war together it's very similar to mars conjunct south node except it's operating on more scorpionic emotional levels so it's it's deeper, it's more intense, it's more obsessive, it's harder to let go, um, but it is sort of similar in that way that it's like a battleground. So this is probably one of the most intense aspects in Sinistry you could have. If you have this, it should come with a warning label that um, just be cautious and you know, those deep feelings, those big energies, this is not rooted in this lifetime alone. This is going back 
possibly lifetime after lifetime. This is a karmic connection. You have a choice now. You can act better. You can break the cycle and be kind to one another. Be forgiving and be compassionate. While still, if you need to, cutting the cord and being free from this person. Now, this, if it is existing in a healthy synastry, there is going to be a theme of purging toxic toxicity how do i say that word toxic purging toxic energy right and um like that is what is going to happen existing with this person you're going to constantly be purging out these negative beliefs these fears these programs and that can really um lighten your load in, in life like you can become lighter you can become transformed and you can become better, but it will take work and it's hard work and it's not for the faint of heart. And um, this, yeah, this relationship is one of those conjunctions you'll look back on and be like, wow, that changed my life. And um, hopefully for, for better. Um, so I'm sending you all the love and hugs if you have had to deal with this aspect. Um, and I hope that it's worked out positively for you. I mean, there's no one aspect alone that has to be negative. I'd, I'd love to know your experience of this aspect. What was it like? Let me know in the comments and thanks for your requests, you guys. Keep them coming and we'll talk soon.